Adventure. Adventure, intrigue, mystery, romance, starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. Together in the sultry setting of tropical Havana and the mysterious islands of the Caribbean. Bold Venture. Once again, the magic names of Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall bring you Bold Venture and a tale of mystery and intrigue. You, um, you uh, won't regret this, Mr. Shannon. Uh, you'll see you won't. Mr. Shannon hardly ever regrets anything, do you, Slate? That's because I lead such a clean life. See what a lucky man you are, Mr. Bullock. Where else could you have found a 100% fellow like Slate here to take you all the way to Key West in his own boat? I know. Oh, how well I know. Oh, uh, that reminds me. Uh, the uh, passage money. Uh, you can pay me when I land you at Key West. Uh, when you do that, you'll get a bonus. <laughs> yes, yeah, a nice, plump bonus. Plump, huh? That'll be nice. You're a nice man, Mr. Bullock. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, here, I got the money right here. I'll peel off any part of it. <laughs> Just say when. What a big piggy bank you must have robbed, Mr. Bullock. Huh? Oh, I and... Oh, oh, you made a funny. Did you do that, sailor? <laughs> yes, she did. I've got $50,000 right here in my hand. Oh, piggy bag. Uh, now, just say when, Mr. Shannon. <laughs> well, if it makes you that happy, when? What did I tell you, Mr. Bullock? You finally found an honest man. You're wonderful, Slate. Means a lot to you to get to Key West, doesn't it, Mr. Bullock? Oh, it does. Yes, it does. A man like me, I, I'm just not cut out for this excitement in Havana. I'm strictly a homebody. Carpet slippers, a pipe, the evening paper, but all of it in English. Something a man can hold on to. Yes. Uh, how much farther to your boat, Mr. Shannon? Well, a couple of minutes. If you're that anxious, you could have taken a plane. One of the crack liners. I told you. I don't like all those people around me. I paid you enough, didn't I? I'm not paying you to ask silly personal questions. You're being paid to... Now, easy, Mr. Bullock. Slate doesn't like it when you go. Hey, watch it, sailor. Hey, watch with you guys. You know better than to drive in Havana with your headlights off. You could have... Keep the mouth polite, friend. All we want is to ask a friendly direction. Hey, uh, Mr. Shannon, look out. They're the men who... The, the, the men who... Oh, what do you know? It can still talk. <laughs> All right, move it, my check. Uh, Johnny will be proud, won't he, my check? Huh? Yeah, he'll be proud. <laughs> You should have seen it, Johnny. You should Relax. have seen it. But, Johnny, you think... I said shut up. Turn off the record, Marchick. Yeah. A uh, man doesn't need anything but music like that. Uh, sure, Johnny. Sure, Johnny. Tell me how Bullock died. And four slugs in the chest. Can you imagine that, Johnny? A little guy like that, and it takes him four slugs. Who was driving? Him. Machek, him. I was driving, Johnny. <laughs> I don't know about you, Machek. I really don't. I said Dolly drives. You were going to handle the gun, remember? Oh, what difference does it make? Sure, Johnny, what difference? I didn't mind. He took four slugs. You should have seen him. Machek. Uh-huh. Next time you do like I say, next time you'll do it my way, won't you, Machek? Ah, uh, sure I will. Sure you will. You understand? It's the little things that annoy me. Take Bullock. He annoyed me. A bookkeeper who walks out with $50,000 shakes my faith. The money is incidental, Marchek. It's the annoyance of it. it. Gives me butterflies. That's Johnny. Johnny, when do soon, we... Soon, go... real soon. And when we get back to the States, it'll be like old times, won't it? Running things from Havana is okay, Johnny, but I like the States... Like old times. When are we getting out of here? Sometime I'll whisper it in your ear gently, Marchek. Sure. 
There's no chance of a slip-up on Bullock, is there? Uh-uh. We were driving without lights. Nobody followed. Yeah, that's right. It happened too fast even for the guy and the dame to have... What guy and dame? Uh, the ones that Bullock was talking what to. What guy and dame? Uh, Bullock came out of the hotel with the guy and the dame. What hotel? Called Shannon's place. Uh... Get them. Bring them here. Sure, Johnny. Now turn on the music, Marchek. Uh-huh. said you were outside. said you were on the patio. Did he tell you to keep walking? I said you know where Slate Shannon is. Shannon is doing clever things to his boat. You'll find him down at the dock. Hey, your name's Duval, huh? Who are you? You got in trouble a little while ago, didn't you? You walked with a man and he dropped dead from bullets. Look, don't make me repeat myself. Police, that's all. For a Cuban policeman, you've got quite an American lilt to your voice. Uh, yeah, I got all the American movies. Come on, sis. What are you talking about? Talking about come on, with me, the police. I'm arresting you for suspicion. Suspicion of what? Show me a bag. Come on, sis. I get experience dragging people, too. Take your hands off me. You... Why, Why you're the man in the car. You... Yeah. You... Yeah, you gonna stop fighting, or do I break the soft arm? Huh? Sailor! Slate! <laughs> Slate, hurry! You did wrong, sis! Wrong! What's that? Slate, he's got a gun. <laughs> Okay, drop it. Tell her get the gun. You're gonna be real sorry, mister. He's getting away. Yeah. You all right, sailor? He slugged you good, huh? Are you all right? Let's go inside. He was the man who shot Mr. Bullock. Yeah, I noticed. Like you said, he slugged me good. I'll get you something. Hey, wait a minute. We've got company. Sitting over there. Yeah. I wonder what he wants. Good evening, Senor LaSalle. Buenas noches, Senor. Senorita. Are you sad also, like me? Sad? See, si. This evening you were seen with a man who is lately murdered. That's why I am sad. You are under arrest, both of you. <laughs> Make yourselves comfortable, senorita, senor. We have a saying in Havana, my jail is your jail. Hasn't changed a bit, has it, Slate? Still cozy. Yeah, our home away from home. Same leg broken on same chair. Same cigar burns on same desk. Same picture of LaSalle Jr. No, it's not the same. Mm -hmm. Junior's a big boy now. How Junior has shot up. Thank you. Don't mention it. How is Junior? Remarkable. He is now in attendance at Yale. <clears throat> bula bula for him. Oh, you are too kind. Well, how long do we crook our pinkies at each other, LaSalle? I gave you the hoodlum's gun. All you have to do is trace it. That gets you Bullock's murderer. That gets us out of this coffee clutch. You and us. This we shall do, senor. The tracing of the gun. However, there is also a matter of questions. I've already chosen my category. How about you, Slate? And what's the question? We told you he shot Bullock down in cold blood. We were taking a walk. Bullock didn't get to finish it, that's all. This murderer of which you speak, you know him? You can describe him? He was American. He carried an American gun. He's got a cold right cross. What else is there to know about a man in the dark? I could think of something. The license number of the car. You jotted it down? I knew we forgot something, sailor. Next time, I'll bring my ballpoint. Yeah, do that. Uh, which brings us to the 64 peso question. Junior has written me of such. What business had Senor Bullock with you? He hired me. He hired my boat. Take him to Key West. He was a simple little man. Still, he had almost $50,000 on him. Perhaps you will tell me why. Sure. Simple little men put their pennies in Christmas savings. You'd be surprised how it adds up. It could have been a good fee to take him to Key West. Fifty thousand dollars. Perhaps this hoodlum you speak of. Perhaps he had fear you would not share with him, eh? Hey, look, I told you what happened. 
Buenos noches, Senor LaSalle. Everybody. <laughs> well, will you be glad I'm here, Shannon? You and the lady. Will you be glad? What is it you want, Senor Armand? A favor, Senor? Just release Shannon and Duval. Because I ask you. Because I've got a writ that says you have to. Give it to me. Uh-huh. It is in order. You are released. But uh, walk careful in Havana, eh, senor? Senorita? Just like you say. Give my regards to Junior, huh? Let's get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> well, I told you. The chief and me, we're uh, just like that. I do favors for him, him for me. And you for who else? Your benefactor. Lovely man. He arranged it all. He's dying to meet you two. Let's not keep him waiting, huh? He sounds like a doll. Shall we go, Slate? Not you, just me and Buster here. Now, look. I said go home, sailor. You take me to my benefactor, huh, Buster? I don't want to share him with anybody. Yeah? I brought Shannon. Oh, oh, you're the lawyer. Hey, Johnny. Yes, who is it? The lawyer with the guy. Tell the lawyer to go home. You heard him. Come on in, Shannon. Right in here. Here he is, Johnny. Hello, Shannon. Are you staring at me because you recognize me? Hey, I've seen you. Your pictures. You're Johnny Rice. That's right. How many states are you wanted in, Johnny? The original 13, and seven more besides. You like music, Shannon? Sometimes. Try now. Listen. Pretty? Sure, it's pretty. You're going out to it, Shannon. Only because you know I'm in Havana. Whoever told you I knew that? Marchick. Uh-huh. Kill him. Johnny, I... I said... Yeah. Listen to me. Now throw him away, Marchick. Back to Bold Venture, our stars Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, and the second act of our story. A man he come to Shannon's place, have plenty of money and anonymous face. This man so rich wants to live in states, but die in gutter, decree his face. The police, they come and arrest Mr. Slate, also Lady Sailor, his fair lady of late. Then lawyer, he come with writ, three cheers. Lady Sailor, come home, but Mr. Slate disappears. Now Lady Sailor, she bit her lip, her eyes are sad. Does and... it show that much, King Moses? Maybe not to somebody else, but to King Moses, it shows like it was in neon lights. Funny. Slate never sees it. Mr. Slate sees, but he does not believe. You are someone he has not known the like of ever before. He do not think himself worthy of you. <laughs> That'll be the day. The day he underrates himself. Ah, I know him longer than you, Lady Sailor. Well, then maybe you can tell me where he's been all night. Because you know him so well. I cannot. In Havana, there are many places. One goes because one has a desire in his heart or... So... Or what, King? Or there is a desire in someone else's heart to please or to do harm. Slate can take care of himself. Yes, but sometimes a man gets hurt taking care of himself. Sometimes... How could he have got hurt? We were in the police station. A lawyer named Harmon came in with a writ. Slate went. Uh, get me my coat, King. You go someplace, Lady Sailor? Yeah, to see our lawyer. We got him for free yesterday. Maybe he'll tell me where he took Slate for free. (laughs) 
Ah, you understand, Miss Duvall, it's been so long since a person as lovely as you walked in here. Mostly until you... Dregs. Unfortunate people with burdens. Ah. Mr. Harmon, where did you take Slate Shannon? (laughs) Really, now? Look, Mr. Harmon, I could go away and come back. Only then this office would be cluttered with half the police in Havana. Uh, Let me explain something to you, Miss Duvall. I am a lawyer. I was hired to get you and Mr. Shannon out of jail. I succeeded quite well, don't you think? Where did you take Slate? Here I was only half successful. I was supposed to uh, deliver both of you. Where? You must realize I'm not going to say where or to whom or why. And may I make a suggestion? What? Should you bring the police here, I would lie. I would lie and say I dropped Slate Shannon in the middle of downtown Havana, in the street. I would lie and you would become a fool. Beautiful, but nonetheless a fool. Goodbye, Miss Duvall. Come on, wake up. Uh, Come on, wake up, Shannon. You're over being hurt. Wake up. Hey, I know you. The man told you to kill me. I'm sorry. I had to make it look good. How's your shoulder? You had to do that, huh? Uh, You're wrong, Marchek. I'm not over being hurt. Uh, There was a doctor here. He took the bullet out. Fixed you up. That uh, sling. Here, here's some pills. He said you'll live. Did he check with Johnny Rice? Is it okay with Johnny Rice if I live? Johnny thinks you're dead. He wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, then you double-crossed Johnny. Uh Uh-huh. That makes me owe you something. Like my life, minus a pound of shoulder. You don't owe me a thing. Don't kid me, Marchek. You don't do things like that to Johnny Rice. Not for nothing. You don't cross him, bring me here to this hole, get me a doctor, not for nothing. What's your fee? It'll surprise you. You want to bet? Tell me your fee, then I'll go home, because I've got a home. I work for the Treasury. I get it. You don't like to kill with guns. You're going to kill me with jokes. See? My credentials. Look at them. Go on, look at them. Uh, You win. Surprises me. It always does. Every time. Yeah, I know. I saw the movie. We've wanted Johnny Rice a long time. We don't want to lose him in red tape. You're going to help us get him. Am I? He's going to make a run for the States tonight. We'll arrest him there. I'll recommend your book. Thanks. You're, uh, you're Miss Duvall. Can she handle a bold venture? Uh, leave her out of it or I don't play. All right. I'll go find somebody else. Hey, come back, Jack Armstrong. Sailor can handle a boat. Tell her to get it ready. Tell her to be on board about six o'clock. Sometime after dark, three men will meet her. Me, Dolly, and Johnny Rice. She'll take us to Key West. And you'll take Dolly and Rice all by yourself? You're a bigger hero than appears on the surface, Marchek. Don't pout, Shannon. You're going to. You'll hide below deck with a gun. I'll call out when I need you. Because I need you. See you later, Marchek. Yeah. Mr. Slate, Mr. Slate. Hey, where's Sailor King? What happened to you, Mr. Slate? I'll tell you later. Where is she? In her room, melting away for you, Mr. Slate. Sailor. Slate, Slate, where have you been? Why didn't you... Now, watch it. Your tears are getting my bandage wet. Hey, what's the matter with you, sailor? Your arm. Ah, oh, it's my shoulder. Used to have a bullet in it. Oh, Slate. Cut it out, will you? Man spends a hard night getting shot. He likes to come home and see a girl with her hair combed and lipstick on, looking nice. Look in the mirror. I'm sorry. Forget it. We're going to Key West. What are you talking about? Your head. We're going to Key West as soon as it gets dark. You'll be on the bold venture. Three men will meet you there. One named Johnny Rice and Marchek and Dolly. I'll be below deck. I'll have a gun. Ahoy! Bold venture! Ahoy! Come aboard. 
Well, good evening. I'm Johnny Rice. And you're Sailor Duval. You sit over there. No. You're at the wheel of this tub. I'm your right-hand man. Right beside you. Let's get moving. We wait for two more men. <laughs> Marchick and Dolly? That's right. When Marchick paid me for this trip, he said you, him, and something named Dolly. How much did Marchick pay you for this trip? Three hundred dollars. <laughs> he did well by it. I'll thank him again when he comes aboard. I'm afraid not. He's dead, like your friend Slate. Dead? That's right. I caught Marchick placing a phone call, transatlantic to the Treasury boys. Can you imagine Marchick doing that? That's why he's dead. What about Dolly? He's packing Marchick to bury him wherever he wants to bury him. I'll meet Dolly in the States. Then there's going to be only you. And you. Let's go to Key West, Mr. Val. Ah, beautiful night, isn't it? I haven't looked. Uh, do you mind if I get some coffee? Where do you get your coffee? Below on the galley. And who runs the boat while you're doing that? You. Just hold the wheel. Steady as she goes. All right. I've never run a boat before, but go ahead. And bring me some, too. Hurry back. I'm beginning to miss you already. Slate. Hey, what are you doing here? Where's Marchek? He's dead. They found out who he is and they killed him. You mean you've been up there all alone with Rice and Dolly? No, only Johnny Rice came aboard. He's waiting for some coffee. I'll carry it to him on this gun. Be careful, Slate. Your arm. I don't worry about it. Yeah, you were quick with the coffee, Mr. Val. No coffee, Johnny. We're all out. Huh? Well, what do you know? Marchek didn't kill you. I should have figured that. You enjoy handling a boat, Johnny? Yeah. I'm happy like, like this. this. Uh, shoulder's bleeding, huh? Drop the gun. Drop it. Thanks, Johnny. Now I'm going to have to spend the voyage with a gun in my hand, huh, Shannon? Did you hear what I told your boyfriend, Miss Duval? Slate! Slate, you're hurt! I'll take the hurt away from him in a little while. Get on this wheel. Uh, I'm sorry, sailor. I lost it. Come on, get on the wheel. You know something? I forgot how to run a boat. If I took the wheel, this boat would go around in circles till we ran out of gas. I can blink an eyelash, Mr. Val, then shoot you dead. Slate can run the boat. That's a big coincidence. I forgot, too. What's on your mind, Slate? Throw my gun overboard and I'll see you get ashore. Where I want to go? Key West. You got my word for it. All right. That was my gun, Johnny. Now yours. Now I'll take the wheel. How much water, sailor? About seven feet. Well, it won't be long now. I can see the lights from the coast. Take another sounding, sailor. All right. Four. Better cut the motors. Now two. All right, Johnny, jump. Jump? That's right. I can't take the boat on the beach. You'll have to walk from here. Go ahead, jump. All right. Go along, Johnny. I'll find you, Slate. I'll find you now. Hey. What's the matter, Johnny? Miss Beach. There's water on the other side of it. Where am I? <laughs> so long, Johnny. How did I do, sailor? I don't know what you did. I told him I'd put him ashore on my part of the bargain. That sandbar is a mile from Key West, but it's part of Key West. The tide will be in in a half hour. He'll drown. Get on the ship to shore phone, sailor. Get the Coast Guard. Give him Johnny's position. If they hurry, they'll get him alive. <laughs> Where am I? Nurse. Take it easy, Slate. I'm not a nurse. This is a sailor. Water. Water. So help me, Slate. If I thought you had a fever... Oh, the room is spinning. 
Everything's going black. I've got no pulse. I'll go get you one. Oh, thanks, nurse. I'll be right back, baby. It's time for your 10 o'clock feeding. <laughs> Why, you nurse is always talking shop. Come here. Let go of me. Oh, come here. Boy, you really have got a fever. And so our two stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, have brought to a close our latest Bold Venture story. Special music was composed and conducted by David Rose. May we invite you to listen again next week at this time for another exciting adventure starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall together in Bold Venture. Bold Venture.